in the mirror Man, you so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Now, what I'm going to talk about right now, ladies and gentlemen, in this reaction video is about how modern women still claim that they are in pain about being a modern woman who is a single parent. Now, I want to dive deep into this. I want to talk to you. I got some statistical data I'm going to put on the screen about depleted mom syndrome. And that's a whole lot of that going on with these single parent mothers who are now living in regret regretful that they had children okay so let's get into this before i show you this lady let me warn you first she is savagely unattractive in my most humble opinion so you might want to you know put something on the screen don't look directly into the screen just listen to her words okay or put some shades on because your eyes gonna burn now let me go ahead and get into this subject matter one second i put on your screen y'all Whew. dang all right let's get started the part of parenting Oh, also, y'all, she got a windows down, so if you hear some wind and stuff, that's her uh, side. The part of parenting or single parenting that nobody talks about. He offered jobs, and you can't even accept the jobs because you don't know how you're going to get your kids to and from daycare or who going to watch them on the weekends if you need to work or anything in that nature. I absolutely love my kids to death, but if I could talk to the younger me, I would tell me to wait. I would tell me to wait to have kids until I know that I either am financially stable or I'm having a team behind me that can help me because everybody needs a community. This is the problem I have with her statement. Now, she's looking back in hindsight, realizing that she made a mistake having non-marital births. But the thing is, they always want to get past the fact that they need to have a husband. Notice she said she wanted to be financially stable and have a community or a team behind her. Newsflash, that team is supposed to be you and your husband. Stop trying to get past your husband. Stop trying to have children outside of matrimony. All you are ha having are bastard children. And bastard children, according to the dictionary, ain't nothing more but non-marital birth and illegitimate children. So why do you have such a hatred towards matrimony? That's what I don't understand. Not once did this woman say, I want to have a husband. Next time I'll make sure I have a husband if I have another kid. Women think that men, husbands, fathers are not necessary, that they're not essential. But they are. So the thinking has to change. The point of view has to change. This woman missed the mark. She's another one of these. I'm an independent, which I can't say bad because you see her. She's one of these independent women out here who think she could do it all without a husband. You know why? Because a good man, a good husband, a good father is going to put rules, regulations on her and how that house is going to be ran. She don't want to have authority in a house she don't want to have an authority figure in there because a man brings authority okay so stop skipping now look that's just crazy to me next time i'll make sure i got money and have a group of people to help me raise this kid it is not the community's responsibility to raise your children it is your child that is your child and you're supposed to raise that child with your husband okay these other people in the community have their own responsibility their own problem their own issues and their own children they can be there to help assist you when you and your husband is not around or be there to help to assist you if y'all need help but they're not supposed to be the primary caregiver of your children all right so she ought to, she's one of these women that she has a child she's gonna leave a child with her mama the grandma to take care of them come on man and when you are alone doing this it, it's the worst it's the worst feeling in the world i absolutely love my kids to death I, i'll do anything for them but when you are trying to give them the best and you have multiple baby daddies that won't even be like, hey, what's your work schedule? Let me help you because I know you didn't help me because I can go to work whenever I feel like it and I can make as much money as I feel like it and I can do the bare minimum for my child. It is sickening. Multiple baby daddies. Multiple baby daddies. How many baby daddies do you got to have before you realize you have a problem uh, picking the wrong man? All right, you can't even get mad at the baby daddy. 
You can't get mad at the community because you keep having your legs wide open for anybody to bust nuts in you to get you pregnant, okay? Yeah, this is your fault still at the end of the day, regardless of how much you cry over here. And look at her cry. God dang, I'm going to tell you something. Before I go any further, when you see a pretty woman cry, you want to go help her. You're like, oh, man, pretty woman crying. I hope she's okay. When you see a woman that you think is ugly crying, you're like, I know she deserves everything that's happening to her right now. It's hard to see. Now, back to what I was just saying. It is your fault that you chose to be with these men. Okay, don't cry about it now. Like they used to say, laugh now, cry later. In these situations with these particular type of women, it's, it's um, cry. I'm sorry, I messed up my whole train of thought. It's basically, you know. Laugh not, cry later. That's what it is with her right now. That's what I'm trying to say. Because a short-term pleasure is yielding a long-term pain. That long-term pain is called consequence. Now, a lot of our women don't like responsibility. That's what it is. They're not responsible with themselves. They're not responsible with the way that they dress. They're not responsible with the way they say things and get in trouble all the time, get in trouble with the police. So how is it that you feel that you can be responsible to raise a child when you're not responsible with yourself, Okay. Now responsibility is kicking in. That's what she's complaining about is being responsible. You have to be responsible. It's too bad you put yourself in this situation, but you did. It's sickening. And I'm not dealing with one, not two, but three men that fail to realize that they mama needs to work too. And it hurts me to the core because I try to do as much as I can or work around these men's schedules far as pick up and drop off and I always get the shit end of every stick. I try not to be the baby mama that's calling, complaining, or even asking for too much or nothing. So when I can't even take a job that know that they know that will better their kids' life because their kids are primarily with me, it hurts me. It hurts me because I don't ask. I don't ask. I don't bother. I don't tell if the kids need diapers or if they needed shoes, or if they needed socks, or anything, I'm not that type of mother. Even if I didn't have food, I would go to a food pantry before I called them and ask them, hey, can you help me with food? Because you know food stamps don't always feed the kids. Three baby daddies that she picked, and she said that she would go to a food pantry when the food is scarce in the house. Now think about the type of judgment this woman has to where she choose men that won't even, you know, want to feed the kids. If you feel that you have to go to a food pantry instead of asking your baby daddy because you feel it'll be an inconvenience to them, that tells me about your decision making. Okay? Food stamps don't pay for everything. And you got three. So you had three opportunities to realize that you shouldn't be having any more kids. You, you, you just seen that. That's crazy. It hurts me to the core. It hurts me. But I'm finna start standing on business. I'ma have two and I don't give a fuck. Cause this shit is it's ridiculous. It's becoming ridiculous. Okay, let me put this data on the screen for you right quick. Give me a second as I pull it up. Yes, sir. So this is really all your fault, lady. I know you don't want to hear that. It is. No, boo-hoo, cry me a river. You got to deal with the consequences of your decision. I ain't trying to be mean. I don't care if you take it that way either. But it is what it is. Hope you learn from it. And I hope the ladies who watch this show learn from her mistake too. Now let's go ahead and read this together. Okay. It says here, mom burnout. Mom burnout, sometimes called depleted mother syndrome, is the feeling of mental, emotional, and physical exhaustion, depersonalization, and the lack of fulfillment caused by intense child care demands. Burnout is the result of too much stress, and a lack of resources for coping with it. A lack of resources. Not having enough. Not like she's talking about. Not enough food. Not enough opportunity. Because um, when she get one, she can't get a job she wants because of the children. You got to work around the children. Mm-hmm. This is a result when you keep having multiple children with multiple baby daddies. This is your fault. I know you don't like it, but it is what it is. So anybody else who's thinking about doing this or going through this, you better stop having these damn kids right now until you get your life together. Period. Ain't no other way around that. No, you don't like it. It is what it is. I don't really care. Well, anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this particular topic, y'all. And as always, I'll be talking to y'all pretty soon. Uh, y'all take it easy now, you hear? Mm-hmm.